वेलकम बैक गाइज आई एम हेयर विद यू टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर 26 ऑफ सी एस आई आर नेट जून टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक लीनियर एल्जेब्रा सो लेट इज फर्स्टली रीड इट लेट जाई बी ए प्रिमेटिव फिफ्थ रूट ऑफ यूनिटी डिफाइन ए इज इक्वल टू दिस मेट्रिक्स सो ए इज दिस मेट्रिक्स फॉर अ वैक्टर वी इन आर फाइव define this notation v modulus a this notation is defined as under root of v a v transpose where v transpose is the transpose of v if w is equal to this vector in r5 then they want us to calculate w a okay so first important thing to note here is that xi your symbol xi is a fifth root of unity okay that means xi is a root of this equation okay xi is a root of this equation so one important thing you should know about nth root of unity is that suppose lambda is the primitive the word primitive is important here okay i will tell you the meaning of this suppose lambda is the primitive nth root of unity then what will happen 1 plus lambda plus lambda square up to lambda n minus 1 you will get zero as your answer okay so this is a important note that you should remember regarding primitive root primitive nth root okay so what is the meaning of primitive here suppose you have minus 1 okay so you know minus 1 whole square is 1 you know that but what you know also that minus 1 to the power 4 is also 1 okay so what you call minus 1 as you can call minus 1 as fourth root of unity right because this is a solution for this equation you are getting my point fourth root of unity minus 1 is also twoth root of unity because it's a solution of this equation also so what is the difference between these two so the difference will come from this word primitive so x is said to be primitive root of unity suppose primitive nth root of unity if n is the smallest such number such that x to the power n is 1 you are getting my point so for minus 1 minus 1 is a primitive root of uh, primitive second root of unity you are getting my point because minus 2 is the smallest such number such that minus 1 to the power whole square is 1 so x is called primitive nth root of unity if n is the smallest such number such that x to the power n is equal to 1 so this is the meaning of primitive okay so i will erase this thing you can keep this in your mind okay now what is given to you what do you have to calculate you have to calculate this thing okay so this symbol actually means what this symbol actually means w a w transpose so let us write okay i will take square root at the end so what is w firstly see w is this matrix 1 1 uh 1 1 minus 1 1 1 and then minus 1 i will mean, this is a matrix right what is a a is xi minus 2 0 0 up to here then 0 xi minus 0 okay i'm i'm not going to write the whole matrix this is your a matrix what will be w transpose w transpose will be 1 minus 1 1 1, 1 minus 1 so this is your w transpose okay and you have to power this thing with 1 by 2 okay now see this is a 5 cross 5 matrix and this is a 5 cross 1 matrix that means the result will be 5 cross 1 and after multiplying this 1 cross 5 matrix with this 5 cross 1 matrix what you will get you will get a real number okay so i'm not going to calculate it you can calculate it yourself i'm just going to write the answer so the answer is xi minus 2 plus xi 
minus 1 plus 1 plus xi plus xi square okay so after multiplying this you will get this thing okay after calculating this product of these three matrices you will get this thing okay now what do you know you know that xi to the power 5 is 1 okay so if you want to calculate xi to the power minus 2 then just multiply this equation with xi to the power minus 2 so if you will multiply this equation with xi to the power minus 2 what you will get you will get this as your result that means xi to the power minus 2 is actually equal to xi cube that means this equation is xi cube plus now xi minus 1 how will you calculate xi minus 1 just multiply this equation with xi minus 1 okay so you will get xi to the power 4 is equal to xi to the power minus 1 so this is xi to the power 4 plus 1 plus xi plus xi square okay now from this note what you can conclude that this thing is actually 0 so you will get 0 to the power 1 by 2 therefore what you will get is you will get 0 as your answer so this is a very easy question you just need to remember what is nth primitive root and what are its properties so this is the most important property regarding the nth root of unity that sum of all the nth root of unity is actually zero okay so this is the property that i am talking about by using this property one can easily show that this answer is zero okay so thank you guys